It's playoff time in the NFL, so let's go over 10 simple rules to live by for accurately predicting this year's Super Bowl champion. Let us begin with one of our easiest rules, the losing record rule. A team entering the playoffs with a losing record has never won a Super Bowl, so that means the first team we can safely eliminate is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now let's talk about first-year head coaches in the playoffs. It's pretty rare to find a first-year head coach who has won a Super Bowl. George Seifert won it in 1989 with the 49ers, but that was kind of a layup. Most coaches don't inherit a dynasty so realistically I think it's bad news for the likes of the Giants, Dolphins, and Vikings this year. In similar fashion we have to also consider the rookie QB clause which states that a rookie QB cannot win a ring in his first year. Unfortunately that forces me to eliminate the 49ers because of rookie QB Brock Purdy. Then there's the I'm just happy to be here teams the Jaguars and the Seahawks. Just think about how far these teams have come after the Jags had to put up with Urban Meyer last year and the Seahawks with Russell Wilson. Everyone predicted these two teams would be dumpster fires at the beginning of the season. They don't look like Super Bowl contenders yet, but they should still be happy for making the playoffs. Now, the next thing on our list is called the Cowboy Corollary. The Cowboy Corollary just shows us that the Cowboys will not advance past the divisional round, something they haven't done since 1995. The last 27 years of evidence suggests that somehow, some way, the Dallas Cowboys will find a way to lose. The next thing I have to mention is about Super Bowl runner-ups. There's a long history of teams losing losing the Super Bowl and then coming back the next year with a worse season. The 2018 Patriots are the only team since the 72 Dolphins to pull this off, so it looks like after 50 years, this is the exception rather than the rule. So for that reason, we have to let go of last year's runner-up, the Cincinnati Bengals. Then for number seven, we have the, you can't win a Super Bowl if it's your first time in the playoffs for your head coach and quarterback rule. So that rule is a bit of a mouthful. It just means that we have to say goodbye to the Chargers. Both Chargers QB and coach will be making their first playoff appearance this season. It's a combination that does not end with a Super Bowl ring. And if you're thinking Kurt Warner and Tom Brady won it all their first time through, you have to remember those guys had experienced head coaches in Belichick and Vermeil. All of those guys ended up being Hall of Famers. So if the Chargers actually do pull this off, Justin Herbert and Brandon Staley, welcome to the Hall of Fame, I guess. This next rule I like to call the, my mascot is healthier than my QB rule. The Ravens look like they're still going to miss their QB Lamar Jackson for the playoffs. And without him, I just don't see how they can be a Super Bowl contender. But hey, at least pose back. Now here comes the first is the worst rule. This applies to two things. The first being that over the last decade, the number one offense in the league has not been able to win a Super Bowl and neither has the team of the league's MVP, both of which may apply to the Kansas City Chiefs if Patrick Mahomes wins another MVP this year as expected. So assuming the Chiefs will be doubly cursed this year, that just leaves us with the Bills all alone in the AFC versus the Eagles in the NFC. With that, our last rule to explore is called the last undefeated team conundrum. Being the last undefeated team in the NFL regular season seems like a pretty cool idea until you realize it doesn't lead to an actual Super Bowl ring. If you look at the last 15 years, the majority of teams who were the last to be undefeated lost in the wild card or lost in the Super Bowl itself. These types of teams can make it to the Super Bowl, but recent history tells us they just can't pull it out in the end, which is why I have to eliminate the Eagles here and go with the new Super Bowl champion, Detroit Lions. That's right, they finished the season by beating a bad Packers team for their ninth win of the year. You might say, hey, they didn't even make the playoffs. How could they just win the Super Bowl? To that I say, sure. It's the sixth year in a row they've missed the playoff, but don't let that stop you from celebrating like you won the Super Bowl at Lambeau Field on Sunday Night Football while the whole world watched. Sounds like a Super Bowl to me. Okay, fine. It's the Bills. The Buffalo Bills should win it all. They don't fall into any of the traps. They beat all the different rules. They have a great QB head coach combination, a great defense, even better offense, and they added some juice to the return game when they traded for Naheem Hines. So all three phases of the game look really great for the Bills. Definitely a favorite for a reason. They have a good squad. But if you want to get serious, look at who's won every other year since 2014, Tom Brady. The Rams may have taken his off year last year, but this year it looks like he's scheduled for one more.